There are tremendous differences between poverty in West Virginia and in Cabrera or Colombia, but there are some real commonalities as well. Children who were born poor, whether in South Sudan or in West Virginia, aren't going to have the opportunities to surmount those obstacles and rise up the social ladder. If you suffer trauma as a child, it's something that changes the way your brain grows. If you are, have the stress of extreme poverty, if you have the stress of abuse, that changes the actual way that your brain grows and develops. If you're raised in a stressful home, you're going to have long-term outcomes that are going to be less favorable. And if we want to make a difference, then we need to reach children early. We need to protect them early. We just have 16 million kids in the United States growing up with these tensions and these stressors as a country of wealth and abundance that one in four kids are growing up in poverty. It's embarrassing. And I promise you, if you hung out with these kids, you would be shocked because they're as smart as your fancy little kids and their fancy little preschools, and I include mine in that. But they're starting school without even a chance of catching up from their first day, and then we have no problem spending money on putting them in jail and keeping them there, but we won't spend the money to give them the right fair start.